Demon Lords, arguably the most powerful beings in anime, rulers of the underworld, and high magic power and skill. Though the interesting thing is, some protagonists aren't Demon Lords just yet, but they do have the power equal to one and can become one if they wish to. Today's video will be showcasing 10 anime protagonists who have the power to become the Demon Lord of the underworld. If you are new around here, then please make sure that you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell icon turned on to stay up to date with the latest anime news and recommendations right at your doorstep. Now, that can be all winning, let us begin with the video. Everyone has heard of the Irregular and Magical High School, or watch it, but here is the pinnacle of badass characters, and I truly mean that. The anime tells the story of a brother and sister, Shiba and Miyuki, who enter and attend a very prestigious, magical high school. But it turns out, Shiba is an irregular due to him being bad at written examination, but completely excelling in practical combat work. It so happens to be that Shiba has his full potential or powers sealed behind his sister Miyuki, who helps contain his dangerous powers. So she prefers to just, you know, keep an eye on him with some brother and sister complex relationship happening, but that doesn't really bother me at all. Check out both seasons of this anime if you haven't, and I'm sure you will not regret it. Ada Takangatari is probably the most interesting unique concept you will ever come across in an isekai series. A concept of two people with the same name switching places in each other's worlds, especially when no one recognizes the difference between the two as they look similar. <laughs> It may be cliche story of yet another characters with the idea of saving the world, new cool looking powers, though it's really not boring at all and it's really enjoyable to watch. The Arata in the Isekai world is being blamed for an assassination attempt which he never did and must escape. Meanwhile, the Arata in Japan real life is transported to another world after wandering down an alley and receives godlike powers from a legendary weapon to help restore order in this brand new Isekai world. Imagine you aren't the protagonist of the show, you are a complete useless weakling and rely too much on your overpowered broken sister to do all the work through one-shotting everything, and turns out she's far too strong than a demon lord. This anime takes a huge inspiration from the mother one-hit isekai series, I mean it's literally the exact same concept but with a sister instead, and also a huge brother and sister complex that may drive you away from the show because it is quite excessive if you ask me. <laughs> Still though, it's quirky, funny, and watching it will make you laugh from the silly outcomes, but over the top, it's just your average looking isekai with an overpowered female protagonist taking care of her brother in another world. But when a person is isekai to another world, you would genuinely wish for something powerful or just be overpowered in general. But this protagonist here had something else in mind. He wanted to become a farmer. Farming life in another world is a simple laid-back story of a guy farming in another world who is very powerful. Not only was his wish for farming granted, but he was also given powerful tools to protect his beloved vegetables and farms and wives from danger. It's nothing really big, nothing new, but something more chill to enjoy after a long day. Just don't expect anything crazy though, because it is mostly just, you know, a slice of life anime series. <laughs> Welcome to Demon School! Irumaku is one of my favorite and fun isekai anime I could possibly recommend to you guys. 
Edomus was sold by his, you know, by his parents to a demon named Sullivan, who treated him like a grandson and offered him a beautiful home to live in peacefully. But of course, Edoma in the end must attend a demon school as the only human disguised as a demon. Humans are known as food to the demons, so Edoma can't really possibly blow his cover. The demon lord is also absent in the school, and the next candidate must now take his place. Could Edoma, a lowly weak human have a chance at that worthy title? Well, it's all fun and games, quirky adventures, and great characters. Nothing about this anime disappoints at all. Eden Zero is the new project after Fairy Tale ended some time ago, with a new chapter to follow along and new characters as they adventure in a new environment, this time in space. Eden Zero is essentially quite similar to Fairy Tale in terms of its character designs, but a new adventure that awaits in an unknown space travel. The protagonist Chiki is on a journey with Rebecca to travel in the Sakura cosmos across planets to find Mother and obtain a wish of a lifetime. I've always been a huge fan of the work Hiromashima puts out, from Fairy Tale to Rave Master and now Eden Zero, and I can't wait to see more. Up next on the list is a show about demons, devils, magic, sorcery, and epic battles in Blue Exorcist. Money. Rin is the son of Satan, and many people fear Satan or hate him and want him dead. As father and son, the father actually wished for Rin to join him in ruling over these lands, but after the father's death, Rin joined the academy to fight and become what is known as an exorcist. The, you know... The blue flames are known to be of Satan's powers, and Rin inherits that sort of strength, which is why he must do his very best to hide it or he will lose those too close to him. It's quite an epic story across its two seasons, with a new project for Blue Exorcist announced coming sometime down the line. <laughs> the words game adaptation, that's when you probably have second thoughts, but I'm here to give you all Shiro Neko Project. Now I'll be straight up honest, it's a bad anime with terrible narrative, with failed execution, with a cliche story of light versus darkness. It's about two separate kingdoms who each have their own respective rulers, and basically the protagonist is the Prince of Darkness, or more to say, will become one after his true potential is recognized to replace the current king. But, you know, all in all, though, it's a decent show with bad elements, but enough that may satisfy your watch time. I hope. If you're looking for a mystery-solving focused anime series, then I definitely recommend checking out Inspector, which turned out to be pretty decent in my opinion. The whole show revolves around solving the case of a girl that was murdered at one point. You have two protagonists, a guy with immortal power, basically he can't die and is quite powerful, and you have the girl who acts more... 
more or less like a sidekick. A case of supernatural problems, the two set out to stop a faceless woman with steel beams as her weapons from wrecking havoc on the streets and put an end to this evil spirit who takes the form of the girl who had been murdered. The finale anime has now been reached. It's time to recommend a series from 2013 called Devils and Realists. <laughs> Now, you may think the anime is boring and unoriginal, but trust me, it has such a captivating storyline with really good characters hooking you in after finishing the very first episode, wanting more out of it. The protagonist, William, an average schoolboy, turns out to be the descendant of a great demon, now forced to balance out his regular life while demons begin to interfere in his life. William now has to choose one of those demons to serve him as they begin to rule hell together. It's a story of demons with elements of fantasy and mystery to it. It's pretty enticing, so do give it a shot. <laughs> Looks like you just made it to the end of the video and witnessed 10 anime protagonists who have the power to become the Demon Lord of the Underworld. If I've managed to leave any anime out in particular that would be a great share on the list, then please let me know in the comment section down below as I'd love to hear your very new opinion, or just comment down below what you thought about the video in general as I always appreciate the feedback. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.